When it comes to an emergency involving a child, every second counts. Too often, though, critical mistakes are made. Seven Santa Diaz shows us how a local doctor came up with a new way to avoid a difficult dose. Linda Robinson can smile now watching her six-year-old son Jeremy splash around in the water. But it was a very different scene four years ago when his older sister found him floating face down in the backyard pool. We don't know how long he was in the water, but she said that when my husband pulled him out, he was purple, blue purple. They called 911 and paramedics rushed to the scene to try to save Jeremy. The paramedics are the lifeline at that point. But for rescue crews, treating a child can be much harder than treating an adult. Because they don't know how much a child weighs, and they can't figure out the doses of those critical medications quickly. Pediatric ER doctor Peter Antevi says all too often, precious seconds slip away. How many of you feel very anxious treating children? That's why he's now teaching student paramedics a new way to figure out the correct amount of medication a child needs in an emergency. How many people know what this is? Until now, paramedics had to measure the child, estimate their weight, and calculate the correct dosage of medication they should give. Show us how you would figure out uh, the dose of epinephrine for this child. So for three kilograms would be 0.3 milligrams, and then four kilograms is 0.4, and then five would be 0.5. But under the old method, it was easy to make mistakes. That's a tenfold overdose of epinephrine. And if a child had been given that size dose, it could have been deadly. We need to give people the tools that they can remember something easily, quickly, right now. So he came up with a hand heavy method by simply counting the child's age on your hand. One, three, five, seven, nine. And then the weight. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Nick figured out the right dosage right away. He's okay. five years old. Five Show years me how old. you would do that. One, three, five, so it's 10, 15, 20. With dextrose, you double the weight for your mm -hmm. dose, so it would be 40 milliliters. Perfect. I think it's a, a great system. It's easy to learn, and it's uh, very easy to remember. Rescue 38, we're arrival. It means the difference between life and death. No one knows that better than Glenda and her family, whose son is now a happy, thriving six-year-old thanks to the quick work of paramedics that fateful day. Every second counts, and you, you can't get it back. The hand heavy method is already being used by doctors and nurses at Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital. If you'd like more information, log on to our website at WSVN.com. In the Plex, I'm Diana Diaz, 7 News.